Dumalam Boma server this week we are in the Mercedes-Benz V300 D exclusive the last number in the whole Mercedes-Benz range this is part of Mercedes-Benz vans and we are definitely going to do a full review so my sister I'm not talking to you so we're definitely gonna do the whole <laughs> the full review so yeah stay tuned let's get started with the exterior of the mercedes-benz v-class i think the v-class is actually a very pretty bus you know it's a very beautiful mpv multi-purpose van or people carry i don't know all the terms what you guys decide to call it i call it an mpv it's a, it's a multi-purpose it's a bit of a van multi-purpose and i think it's very pretty to look at you know the outside is nice you know if you have your daytime running lights um your daytime running leds um to be exact you have it's it's nice man i think there's also this white color is nice i'm not a fan of white cars personally i don't like white cars because they feel like they don't have a personality they feel like rentals you know because people buy white cars because they are uh, it's easier to sell a white car you know and they depreciate less quicker than cars with color so people want to change cars frequently usually buy white but it feels bland and doesn't have a personality but it works on this one it's a very pretty bus you have a bit of a diamond s kind of um vibe going on on the grill you know you have your multi-spoke wheels it sits on very really pretty i think they're 19 or 20s one of the two um and i think it's nice it's pretty i mean it's a bus so yeah i mean you have your roof rails you have the lodge <laughs> you have the lodge uh, mercedes-benz badge over there yeah it's it's a it's a nice car it's very nice on the interior i think it looks nice this is actually a very nice place to be not the biggest fan of brown interiors actually i don't mind it it depends on which car so not all cars should have brown interiors i prefer like a, a bit of a darker black or whatever um, I love brown interiors when it's a contrast. So there's like a, pe a peanut butter kind of thing. So you have the maybe the outer leather of the, the, the seats are black and then the inners are, are brown. That's what's nice. But this is purely a bit of a chocolatey brown kind of interior. You have your infotainment system screen over here, an analog display, a multifunction steering wheel, heated and cooled seats up front. You also have them in the back. Um, you have a very clean and seamless, very... Um, bus display you know interior like in terms of the interior it's very um it's very cleanly laid out and it's very nice you have a bit of an alcantara suede material going all over the roof you have a very big sunroof like the sunroof is massive 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 um and makes the it's it's, it's also operated um it's also you can operate it from the back as passengers so they can also operate the the sunroof you have a fridge you have the center console which is quite nice you know you have this touch pad which i think is also a bit refreshing um but we'll get into whether i like it or not a bit later um so i think in terms of the interior it's very very nice you know the seats come in a very in a straight kind of um, configuration so what we had to do before we left for when we went um on our year end as the guys and girls we took the seats out and turned them around to have a conference style we took out the table there's a table at the back there um so it's a nice place to be in and i think it's um it's very pretty um very very nice very cleanly laid out very simple you know the, the quality in here is actually quite nice you know i have a bit of um aversion to mercedes-benz interior sometimes i feel like the plastics are a bit too eh, they're a bit too high eh. it's not make sure sometimes with the plastics but this is not bad this actually feels quite solid um so in terms of the interior i really love quite i love quite a lot about it i think it's it's it's, 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 a, it's a nice place to be in the drive like let's get into the drive right so i think mercedes-benz has this thing of kind of confusing people because people would obviously think v300 nameplate it's a three liter i'm so sorry it's a two liter <laughs> so this vehicle is powered by a two liter turbo diesel engine that produces 174 kilowatts and 550 newton meters of torque mated to an eight speed uh, gearbox which i find to be quite nice to drive very nice um it's, it's, it's actually a, a very enjoyable drive because I jumped from the Land Rover Defender 113 to this. And I think the 130, the only thing that lets it down is how heavy it is. You know, I think all that weight and the big 3-liter engine kind of adds to the weight. This is a much lighter drive. This is a bit more sprightly. It's a bit more agile and nimble as opposed to something like a Defender. Obviously, it's still a bus. 
so you guys you need to drive properly you can't just be cutting and pasting in traffic because of the size of this vehicle but i think for a two liter the torque helps it a lot and i think it's carrying it itself well on long distance it's an absolute peach on a daily drive it's an absolute peach um mercedes-benz claims a consumption of eight liters per 100 k's i'm currently doing 9.1 liters so it is a bit of a thirsty one but i think considering the size of the vehicle it's it's it's, it's warranted it's it's really warranted and gear changes are quite smooth so it's a very nice it's a nice engine it's a nice diesel engine um I'm, i've been thoroughly enjoying it um i think it's best for long haul city driving is also quite nice but i think it's better long haul and you'll have a better time with it but yeah man guys it's actually very like it's a proper car so when it comes to the verdict and what i fully think about this car i won't lie to you i have mixed feelings i really do have mixed feelings but i'll tell you why this car is actually to start off this car is actually one of the most perfect mpvs you can find it's one of the only cars on the market that is a people mover that's absolutely luxurious and offers a lot of safety and it's 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 just a very proper mpv it's a very luxurious and premium mpv and that two million asking price is somewhat justified it is somewhat justified because they're asking for two million rand for the exclusive and this is the top spec obviously the top of the range this car does not really compare when you bring in vehicles like the Volkswagen Caravelle and the Hyundai Staria. Those are a totally different market. Um, they are rivals for, but are they really rivals actually, if we're being honest? Are they really rivals? This car is actually on its own. It's a bit of an outlier. It's, it's, it's premium. It's perfect. It's, it's, it's necessary. You know, you're driving around in it. People are looking at you like, It has that cult standing, that culture in South Africa that South Africans know that this is the ultimate party bus. This is a sign of wealth. Not many other vehicles or not many other nameplates have that much cult or that much um, fuss around them, you know? But one thing that is a bit disappointing about this car is how dated it is. There's a new one coming, I'm sure. Obviously, they'll change all the bits, but it's a bit jarring. I mean, you have this beautiful brand new infotainment system screen. It looks like it has M bucks or whatever. Then when you look in front of you, so it's analog. Analog from it's maybe C class L A W two oh four or five. Like I tell you, it's that old Nyana steering. Doesn't even have a bit of an AMG line. Korekas Dalanyana, you understand? Like it's a bit it's a bit dated in the front. Changing the seats is also a tedious task. In a Caraval, the seats are, can you turn around electrically. This thing, you must take the whole seat column out, put them outside, put it back in, in, the, in, the, con, uh, in the conference position and clips it in. I'm paying 2 million rand and I have to do all those things manually. The, I mean, like, it's, it's just so... It's man. It's old. Like, it's old. It's very long in the tooth. It's a bit dated. But what's funny is that even with all the things that I've mentioned, how old school it is and it feels like I'm in an old Merc, it makes a lot of sense. It's actually a very good car. Would I buy one? I don't know. I think I'll let you know as I'm talking. But I think it makes a lot of sense. It's great for the family also. If you have a family and a few kids, toy them in the back there. It's great for a weekender. If you guys are going out as the gents to a braai or you're going out as the girls to a party or whatever, whatever, this makes sense. Boot space in here is amazing. You even have a shelf. Shelf here thing like the crate. Crate is the got a crate thing and cabbage. It has crates. You can hoist stuff in there. When we went to Sun City, all of us had stuff. It was a full house in this car, full occupancy, and our stuff fits so well in the boot. I mean, this has better boot space than the defender I had that is absolutely insane so even with all the things that i'm like yeah it's a bit old and long in the tooth it's actually a very proper car it makes it and you know what i never got, got the hype when i saw vila's like guys i don't like this car i don't understand why people like this Ugh, i'd get a porsche i'd get an x5 i'd get this that out the third i'd get whatever but i understand vitlas give vitlas irregular and i think that is a necessity i think if you've got your money right this is one of the first cars you should get i won't even lie to you um it makes sense in its own right i mean fuel economy is also okay it's relatively okay 
Um, I mean, the Burmeister sound system is nice. Although I was listening to Calvin Momo's album, I thought or maybe Burmeister I gumbaz, and then I tried another album, and it, it sounded quite nice in here. I mean, all, everyone, Iplan, La Pocona, we're darling, I can't go, 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 it's a proper, it's a feel-good car, man. I don't think I've enjoyed a car this much this year. And I thought I wouldn't enjoy it. But it's a feel-good car. Even when I'm driving alone, going to run my errands, going to work, doing this, that, and the third, I'm enjoying, like, full blast music. It's a sophisticated party. It's a very... It's for the grown and sexy man. It's a nice bus. It's it's actually it's very nice. So it exceeded my expectations to be honest. So my full verdict of the Mercedes-Benz V-Class is that the V300D exclusive is where it's at. It is worth every single cent that it's asking for. It's practical, it's robust, it's big, it has the road presence, it's relatively okay on fuel, it's comfortable, it's practical, nice for long haul, nice on a daily. There's a very little to fault this car on. And I think that when you get your money right, you should buy this. <laughs> so yeah, I, I really did enjoy my time with it. I mean, outside of the things that I've mentioned, it's actually a really nice bus. And that's, that's quite it. <laughs> and that is it from me, guys and girls. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for the support over the year. I need you guys so much and I love you guys so so much um, from Pretoria to the world Reba S to the world next year is going to be bigger and better and I can't wait to see you in the next review but for now uh, thank you and yeah but before we all go and go have fun and enjoy our December holidays and buy everyone ice choppers and coronas and stuff like that and verb brutes, let me know what you would get for 2 million rand. I hope you guys say this. Also, if you are getting this, what color are you getting? I don't know. I might get a red one or a black one. I like the black one. Feels a little bit of like a presidential vehicle, but the black one is quite nice. So I'd get that. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to like or subscribe, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>